Good afternoon, Blue Beamers. My name is Troy DeGroat with U Chapter 2, and I'm excited to partner with the team at Brighter Graphics to deliver world class Bluebeam training and customization services so you can get the most out of your Bluebeam investment. This time around, I'm going to be showing you several of the tips and tricks I've accumulated over the last several years teaching and customizing Bluebeam Reveal. Um, I'm going to show you another trick in here. I've got a markup on one sheet and I'm going to show you how to add it to several other sheets um, very quickly. So what I did here was I did a bunch of markups or a handful of markups here. If I hold my alt key you can see each individual one and then what I did was uh, I did a control G to group them and a control shift G will ungroup them. So now they're all individual pieces. I drew a window around it Control G to group it. If I hold my Alt key, I can come in here and edit individual pieces of that group um, without ungrouping it. So once I have this uh, on a sheet, I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to come down here to apply to pages. And in here, I want to switch this to, uh, let's say, a custom range. And I'm going to say three through six. Uh, I'm going to go 20 through 29 and 32 to 36. I want it to show up on each one of those. Say OK. And then you'll see in my markups list, I've got all of these different markups on all of those different sheets. So here you can see the page index and all the pages that, that it's on. If I click on the top of the column, column, it'll sort it by a sheet. But here you can see those are all in there. So that's a quick way to copy that and paste it on a handful of sheets uh, that don't even need to be in order. The next one I want to show you is how to select individual pages or all the pages that were uh, affected by revision two. So if I come down to my markups list, I do a control A to select all. If you come over here now, you'll see that only the sheets that have that markup on it are selected. Some of these aren't. So now I can right click on this and go to extract pages. If I want to extract those, I can print, I can do whatever I want with just the affected sheets according to what my markups list shows. So anything with that markup, I can select that page, uh, select all the pages that have that. And that should bring us right up to the end. I hope you've captured some good notes with these time-saving tips and tricks you can apply immediately to your workflows this afternoon. Reach out to Darren and his team at Brighter Graphics to learn more about additional licenses of Review Extreme or the small investment of upgrading your existing seats. And as always, if you have any questions regarding training or customization services for your company, don't hesitate to reach out to our team as well.